morning. Welcome to the Mount this morning. Thank you for coming to worship with us. Of course, the Mount exists to display the glory of God's grace in Jesus Christ by proclaiming him to all peoples for their everlasting joy in God. Uh, we we'll hope you see that displayed as we worship this morning. I'm here to give you some announcements and some pointers. Um, first, Wednesday, youth are going to be gathering at 6 p.m. in the youth room for a time of Bible study, dinner, and games. Uh, November 27th, that's today, yeah? Ladies Fall Bible Study meets every other Sunday, so they're meeting tonight at 7 p.m. in the church cafe. And of course, you're welcome to join at any time. December 3rd is going to be a church work day. Uh, please plan to meet at the church at 8 a.m. to tackle a few projects on the church grounds. And then December 4th, the next day, we're going to have a Christmas meal. Um, we're going to kick off the Advent season by beginning at 4.30 p.m. And we're going to decorate, eat, play, and then sing together. Sounds a lot of fun. Uh, so check out the sign-up sheet that's in the cafe or on Slack, or you can scan the QR code on the bulletin. Uh, December 10th, then, is the ladies' Christmas tea. Um, all the ladies are invited at 6.30 p.m. to the home of Ellison Reed, which the address is here, um, to kick off the Christmas season. Please bring an hors d'oeuvre to share. And then December 10th is the next men's Bible study. We're going to be gathering at 9.30 a.m. to read in 1 John. Um, and then finally, December 11th, members note that we're going to be voting on the church budget. Uh, so be prepared to, to vote then on December 11th. Uh, final announcements. Tithes and offerings, of course, can be given in the uh, boxes up front and in back, or you can do that online. And then the normal note for restrooms in the back building, don't do it. Uh, we do have a water problem currently. One of our pipes was busted, and, and so we're going to have to get that repaired this upcoming week. What that means is our water is turned off and the reps, restrooms are non-functional. Apologies for that, but that's where we are, so good luck. Um, <clears throat> no judgment if, if you have to you know, depart to figure something out. Um, and then finally, closed closet. Consider signing up to serve uh, one of these Saturdays. Um, it's a great ministry we have to the community, uh, one of the ways that we reflect God's love um, so that people might know his grace. Okay, would you stand with me for, oh, actually, one before one thing, before that. You'll notice we do have an insert. Should we have technical problems with the slides in the back, you should have an insert with the songs. Yay! Okay. Thank you for all who put that together. That's very, very helpful for us. Um, and with that, if you don't mind standing for the call to worship... We're going to be reading in Isaiah 66. It reads, Before she was in labor, she gave birth. Before her pain came upon her, she delivered a son. Who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such things? Shall a land be born in one day? Shall a nation be brought forth in one moment? For as soon as Zion was in labor, she brought forth her children. Shall I bring to the point of birth and not cause to bring forth, says the Lord? Shall I, who cause to bring forth, shut the womb, says your God? Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her, all you who love her. Rejoice with her in joy, all you who mourn over her, that you may nurse and be satisfied from her consoling breast, that you may drink deeply with delight from her glorious abundance. For thus says the Lord, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river, and the glory of the nations like an overflowing stream. And you shall nurse, you shall be carried upon her hip and bounced upon her knees. As one whom his mother comforts, so I will comfort you. You shall be comforted in Jerusalem. You shall see and your heart shall rejoice. Your bones shall flourish like the grass. And the hand of the Lord shall be known to his servants. And he shall show his indignation against his enemies. Will you pray with me? Father, we thank you for this time that we can come, we can gather uh, to worship. Jesus, your Lord, you lived a perfect, sinless life. You did it to demonstrate who you were, Son of God, um, come to rescue us, um, to show us fully who you were and what our greatest need was. You died for us. You rose from the grave victorious. And you sent your spirit that we might be one, uh, that we might experience holiness, 
as we become more like you. And so we turn this time over to you, God. Make us ready to hear your voice, whether it be sung, whether it be preached, whether it be read, whatever it is, God, speak to us. Have us listen. In Jesus' name, amen.